Good morning, everybody. You're watching Iowa Live, where we love to support and celebrate the arts that are happening here in our area, especially at the universities, doing some incredible work. Uh, Grandview is what we're specifically talking about today, and I, we've been corrected. We've been saying it wrong. Metamorphoses, correct? Yes. I, I always thought it was metamorphosis, so I've been saying it wrong for years. I apologize, but metamorphoses, uh, an incredible, incredible production you don't want to miss, and we're going to find out uh, why right now. We do have Kristen Larson joining us, the director of uh, this incredible piece. A couple of performers uh, with Grandview University joining us, Niamke Guilford and Mary uh, Shabillion. Thank yep. you as well for being here today. Thank you. Now, we were discussing during the break, um, I was blessed enough to see this on Broadway back in 2002. You saw the original production in Chicago. I did. Uh, and we both kind of had the same reaction. Wow, yeah. that was an amazing piece of theater. Let's talk about, about why this is so unique and why everybody needs to come and see this. Okay, uh, the major unique factor is the 2,000 gallon pool of water. Pool. That, that is <laughs> There's the a pool yeah. on stage. So actors are submerged and the water becomes everything in the play. There's a deck around the play where right. some of the acting takes place, but a bulk of it is in the water, which is Unique, dangerous, mm -hmm. exciting, beautiful, shimmery, uh, radiant. It's really special. Uh, it, one of a kind. I remember when uh, it, it came out on Broadway and I, we had, were lucky enough to pick out a few shows to go see. Everyone's like, you have to go see this production. There's a pool on stage. And uh, another amazing part of this is you're telling Greek mythology, but in a new, beautiful way in various vignettes. Yes, the stories are... The derived from the Greek myths, mm -hmm. but they're told in modern fashion. Mm -hmm. Mary plays a therapist. Yeah. She uh, yeah. is analyzing Phaeton, the son of Apollo, <laughs> as he floats around in the pool on a yellow raft. So uh, the tales are told in a variety of ways, really unique. Absolutely. So before Hades Town and all that buzz, uh, there was something pretty amazing known as Metamorphoses uh, with this amazing production. So let's hear from you guys. Why did you want to be a part of this? And tell us about the experience that you've been having so far. You, oh, sure. Um, really, this happened because Kristen was like, okay, um, so I've never done a theater production before. This is my first show Your that first I've ever one. done. <laughs> yeah, she's and amazing. she was like, she kind of not really dragged me in, but <laughs> she's like, are you interested in doing this? And I'm Good like, job, well, yeah. <laughs> so it's been an experience for sure. It's really been an awesome time. So, yeah. Talk about the stories you get to tell as we kind of look at some rehearsal footage here of literally. Oh, man, you're in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, I am scenes. in a pool. Talk about that, uh, especially, th this intrigues me, this being your first production. Not yeah. many, many people have this experience to begin with. What's this been like for you of really just really jumping in, so to <laughs> literally. speak? Literally. <laughs> literally, uh, with having that theatrical experience, but in a, in a new, amazing way like this. Yes, oh, I'm still going. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it has been a really unique experience. Like um, you see right there, we're in the water. So that itself is a, a kind of a hurdle that we need to work with, you know. Um, it's been really unique. You can see some combat stuff is going on in the water. There's a sea battle. There's a sea battle. We've had everything is to kind be of very careful. Yeah, with surrounded with the water. Yes. We've had a couple of slips in the pool before, <laughs> but <laughs> we've grown used to it. All, pro all, part, all of part of the, of the rehearsal show. process. Sure. I, I would like to say that this is Mary's first show, but it doesn't seem that way when they're on stage. All the actors have really risen to the occasion, and they're so mature and beautiful mm -hmm. and uniquely suited to the roles that they play, and they play multiple roles. Mm -hmm. So Mary yeah, and Nan keep I was going to say, each of so you plays how, about how many roles? I got, I, I had to think. Um, I've I've got about like four, four or five, I think, major roles, yeah. um, including. Yeah, we're, well, we're we're a couple. We're Cx and Alcyone in one, and then Orpheus and Eurydice in Orpheus another. And, and, and then couples two times. <laughs> I want to be that role. <laughs> yeah. Hanging out on the raft. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Phaeton. Oh. I'm oh. analyzing him as a therapist in the background. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that's 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 a role to get in that show. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about. Uh, how you guys really have to work on ensemble with playing so many different roles and telling these kind of classic stories but in a new fun way. How are you yeah. making that possible for the audience? I'm just following my script now. <laughs> um, I think it's about like, kind of like, like being the character, like trying yeah. to make that transition in between scenes and in between. It's like a different mindset every time. So it's like, okay, right now I'm Alkione, you know, my husband's going to see, and then I turn around like, like a minute later and I'm like okay well now I'm a therapist you know I'm <laughs> analyzing somebody so trying to become like four or five different characters has been interesting and challenging too but fun yeah it's so. that's new real new yeah because I've been doing theater since I was like in high school and I never had to try to 
create so many different personas in my head because uh, Kristen gives me a liberty, liberty to do what I want mm -hmm. with a character. Um, and I've never mm -hmm. had to do, I've never had the freedom to do what I want with five different characters. So it's pretty fun, it's challenging because mm -hmm. um, you don't want to you know, make a character seem like a different, uh, seem like this character and make a, this character seem like that character, yeah. Yeah. stuff like that. Creating a fun theater on stage for people to enjoy. Do you have a favorite moment in the production so far? Um, I gotta say, dressing up like Apollo, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I get showered in uh, gold and glitter mm -hmm. and... And he uh, sings off really fun. <laughs> I yeah. got this real you cool top. I get to sing. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, anything goes. The music mm -hmm. is also live. We have Kyle Bocart playing yeah. music on oh, stage with us. Yes, all the yeah. musical accompaniment is live. And when we pulled out the cajon, which is a drum that you sit on, yeah. uh, Namki looked at that and said, can I play that? And I said, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's work that into the play. And he sat down and played, and he's really good. So uh, Orpheus is a percussionist. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. So many things for the eyes to feast upon with this production. So uh, the, the main mm -hmm. part of it, you, if you've never seen Metamorphoses, you have to because just the pool aspect and how actors w tell stories around water, using water, can con completely change something that you thought you knew before. Uh, so, Chris and I understand we have to thank you for bringing this uh, to Grandview. Yeah. I really encourage people to come see it. It's special um, all around, and I don't think we'll be able to do something like this for a long time. Mm. Um, so, coming out and experiencing it, it's an hour and a half long. Great date night. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, beautiful stories about transformation and renewal through love, actually. Over at the Viking Theater, not a bad seat in the house. You're mm -hmm. kind of all surrounding the space, uh, so you almost feel like you're a part of, of what's happening. You might get wet. Yeah, nice. you might get wet. <laughs> you sit in the Big front mics. row. <laughs> <laughs> so, front row, bring a little plastic <laughs> splash zone. <laughs> or your raincoat, but that truly you will then become part of <laughs> the production <laughs> as well. Well, yeah. well congratulations Thank and break you. legs with this production. Thank when you. can we start seeing it? Thursday, Friday, yeah. and Saturday night. Okay. Seven thirty. This week? Grandview. Yeah. Go to yes. www.grandview. Uh, dot edu slash theater. Boom. Yes. Tickets right there. Yeah. All right. Love yeah. it. Uh, starting November 17th, uh, grandview.edu backslash theaters. We saw their metamorphoses. It is a one of a kind, amazing show. Do not miss it. Great theaters happening in our communities, and we want to celebrate and support it, especially when it's arts education as well. Thank you all for being yeah, here. Thank you. Very Thanks nice so to chat with you about this amazing production.